Number 70. Determine whether aqueous solutions of the following salts are acidic, basic, or neutral. And then we have iron 3 chloride, FeCl3. Is this salt acidic, basic, or neutral? Well, just know that another word for salt is just a ionic compound. It's the ionic compounds that we have known and loved throughout this whole chemistry adventure, right? So what you're going to do is just like we did in earlier, you know, way early in Gen Chem, we break these up into their two ions. Now in here, there's only two elements, iron and chlorine. So the split is gonna be right down the middle. So when we split those up, we have iron. And it really doesn't matter uh, you know, if you have the right charges or, or not. I'm gonna put the right charges, but just know that the charges is not really necessary to answer this question correctly. So we have iron that's a three plus and a chlorine, which is a minus one. Okay, now the next step, we're getting closer to determine whether it's acidic, basic, or neutral. Well, keep in mind that if these are aqueous, that means that we have water. And water is one hydronium with one hydroxide. And when this breaks up, they're going to be coming together with the positive charge and the negative charge. Opposites attract. The positive hydronium is wanna go with the negative chloride. So in this case, this will make H Cl. The negative hydroxide is going to want to go with the positive iron. So the OH always goes with the positive, the H always goes with the negative. And once again, you don't have to write the correct compound here, but this would technically be FeOH3, but you could get away with just saying FeOH. Remember, the charge is not really that important to get the answer correctly here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to compare this to your knowledge of strong acids and strong bases. So let's start with HCl. Is HCl a strong acid or a strong base? It's a strong acid, it's right here. So I'm gonna say this is a strong acid essay. So whenever you have a strong acid, the conjugate is so, 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 so weak that it's basically classified as neutral. And that's where they get this option from. So this is a strong acid, so the conjugate that you have is so weak that it's going to be classified as neutral, so you could basically get rid of this. It has nothing to do with acidity nor basicity. So we just have to do the same thing with FeOH3. Is FeOH3 one of your strong bases? Nope, it's not. It's not on this list. And it's a transition metal, so we don't have to run into that little dilemma with group ones. So in this case, we're just going to classify this as a weak base. So now we're over here. Weak bases, the conjugates are still acidic, but they're weakly acidic, but they're acidic nonetheless. So if you're classifying this as a weak base, the conjugate that you have, which is Fe3+, is acidic. And I can't cancel that one out because it actually has acidic properties. So now all you got to do is just, you know, basically add them up in your mind. What solution will be an acidic solution mixed with the neutral one? Yeah, it would still be acidic. And that's it. So FeCl3 is an acidic solution. And there you go. Or you could call it, you know, an acidic salt, but acidic nonetheless. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for uh, viewing the video. And if you want to help us out, please subscribe to the channel and I will be talking to you in the later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.